Well, one day after a man was shot and killed outside a West Side strip club, more questions are being asked about the club and the man who owns it. Yesterday morning, police say a man was shot and killed outside the Silver Fox Lounge. Earlier this year, another man was killed outside the same club. Other murders have happened at similar clubs owned by the same man. Channel 4's Chris Parento has more details on these clubs. Chris, what'd you find out? Back in 2013, Brandon Green, 21-year-old Brandon Green, was shot and killed at Mascara's Gentleman's Club. In the year before that shooting happened here at Mascara's, there had been two other shootings at this club. The same owner that owns Mascara's owns the Silver Fox. Now some are questioning how these businesses are still open with so much crime happening at them. Police are still trying to find out who shot two people, killing Marlon Bryce and injuring another outside the Silver Fox Wednesday morning. In a deposition as part of a civil case against him when Brandon Green was killed at Mascara's in 2013, Milton Howard said he owned both entertainment venues, among others, here in Jacksonville. They just don't seem to care that they run these, these you know, shady businesses in our town, and certainly people are going to go. And... The, they know that there's, there's illicit and illegal activities going down, but don't hire proper security. John Phillips represented Brandon Green's parents in their civil suit against Mascaras. He says after Green was killed inside the club in 2013, the club began having a private security company watch outside. But Phillips says that isn't always enough. Yeah, they might throw $10 here or there at a private security guard inside but they're not protecting their patrons and people are still going to go and, and not realize uh the the just how unsafe they are but it's it's frightening some say that instead of private security off-duty police officers should be hired to work security at clubs like silver fox According to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, JSO's secondary employment policies require approval for officers if a private company wishes to hire them. At a place that predominantly serves alcohol, the requirement would be to hire two officers, but they would only maintain security around the premises. Phillips says that something has to be done by the clubs and by owners like Howard. They're becoming more dangerous. People are more cavalier with guns. People generally in society feel less safe. And you've got the guys with the illegal guns that are doing the illegal things and you better believe they're packing and we got to make sure they're not i did reach out to the state of florida's department of business and professional regulations to find out if they have any complaints or any investigations into the licenses for mascaras or for silver fox but they have not responded live on the south side i'm chris parento channel four the local station